Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a quick clay render in 3ds Max. So let's get started. Um, here is a building that I made probably a couple hours ago and uh, I'm already guessing that you have your project or whatever done because you wouldn't just render nothing obviously. But uh, you want to get a clay render for your portfolio or you just want to see what it looks like. So uh, here's a fast and easy way to do it. Go to your materials. Wait, first off, go to render setup and make sure you are in mental ray. Because if you're not, then this whole tutorial is screwed. So yeah, scroll down, go to assign renderer, make sure it's in mental ray. And once you're there, click on standard material, mental ray, and then surface where it says none, click on it and go to ambient reflective occlusion. Um, I got all this stuff from Andrew Kramer in his 3D building tutorial. And if you want to check that out, go to videocopilot.com. Dot net. Sorry. Um, I'm going to use what he did. So 40 to 50, somewhere in there, for the samples and the spread, one. And the max distance is how much you want to feather your shadows. I'm going to do 90 just because I want to make it look good, you know. So once we got that done, go to your render setup again and go to processing. I already have mine enabled, but it should look like this. Click on material override enable. And then take your texture and drag it onto the material slot and instance okay and you are done once you're done and it renders I'm not gonna render the whole thing out for you guys but uh this is what it looked like and this is what it turns out to be I mean it looks pretty good and uh, you can use that for whatever I mean it's really simple and there's a lot uh, better ways to do a clay render but I mean if you just want to do a really quick one and just see what it looks like or maybe you don't have time to do the full uh, clay render setup and all the different materials and letting all that crap um, I mean just do this and it looks good and it's really simple and fast so uh... I might be doing more tutorials in the future but I hope you like this one and maybe we'll see you next time <laughs>